I brought I, my laptop and my computer bag and my resumes. Stockton University senior Justin Nolan is one of about 300 people that attended the school's fifth annual Cannabis Career Fair and Business Expo. The event comes as the state's recreational cannabis market continues to be on hold, with no start date announced yet. On Reporters Roundtable, the Cannabis Regulatory Commission chair says a rush launch could come with consequences. Right. We're not very intentional and deliberate with how we launch our adult use market here in New Jersey. We could see supply crunches as well. We could see patients losing access to their medicine, not to mention long lines and, and heavy traffic in our neighborhood streets. Despite the holdup, president of New Jersey Cannabis Business Association and keynote speaker Scott Rudder reminding attendees to remain optimistic and patient. Not all that wander are lost, right? So that's that's a very important quote for our space here in the cannabis industry. I just will just tell you that enjoy this journey. You don't know where you're going to end up. Be positive throughout this process. Embrace the change that's about to occur. Some of the jobs available range from grower to cannabis industry attorney. Rob Mejia, adjunct professor in the Cannabis Studies Department, says it's important for those interested in making their mark in the industry to network and prepare at career fairs like this. The big thing is that uh, the jobs in cannabis are booming, not just in New Jersey, but across the nation. There was just a report that came out from Leafly that said that we have exceeded 420,000 full-time cannabis jobs. Jobs and opportunities that students I spoke with say they plan to take advantage of. I brought my resume, I brought a knowledge of cultivation because I have my own garden um, and just like knowledge of cannabis as well. So yeah, I'm hoping to get into the industry. Did you ever think that you would be at a career fair like this? If you told me six years ago, no, um, but because everything is becoming legal and everything, uh, definitely, I'm definitely excited. So New Jersey Cannabis Certified partners with almost six community colleges across the state now. We provide entry-level training for the cannabis industry. If you're looking to get a, a plant-touching job in the industry, working in a cultivation site, a manufacturing facility, or dispensary, we're the program for you. Five modules over five nights, 15 hours, and you leave with a, a certification from the corresponding community college. The class is open to the public. You don't really need to have a college degree, even a high school diploma to work in the industry industry. We're all going to be becoming operationals within the next six months to a year. Those businesses are all going to be hiring, um, so absolutely now is the time to prepare. We are looking for employees to work for us in our cannabis dispensary in, in, uh, in, in New Jersey, wherever we will be. Of course, we plan to start in New Brunswick and elsewhere, but we need young people who want to get into this industry. It's a fantastic industry to get into. In addition to the 20 vendors on site offering employment opportunities, the job fair also offered legal guidance for those wanting advice on licensing and expungement free of charge. The court said that there were about a million charges in 2018. Since then, they've expunged or dismissed about a half a million, which still means that there's still another half million out there that need to be cleared up. Those are the ones that I'm out there looking for today and helping people to try to find and to know whether or not they did get the automatic expungement too because they also didn't tell you whether or not they were automatically expunged. And despite the delay in launching the recreational industry, everyone I spoke with said they remain excited, optimistic and ready for the future of cannabis in the state. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.